Hello there everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this fall galvanized greeting sign using items purchased from dollar stores. Let's get started. I'm using three of these Hello Autumn signs from the 99 cent store. I'm going to remove the Hello portion uh, so I have a flat surface to work with. I'm then going to turn it over and open the tabs to remove the sign. These signs were $1.99 each. I'm then going to take some fabric from a Target Dollar Spot table runner. I'm going to figure out where my black line in the middle there is. That's going to be where I'm putting my words. I'm then going to turn it over and put a line of hot glue to fold up my fabric. fabric. That way it stays in place. And I used this fabric in my last DIY for a pumpkin wreath and I wanted to keep it kind of cohesive with the items I'm making this year. So once I get to the sides, I'm just going to put another line of hot glue and then fold those over. Very simple. Basically just covering the sign. And then I'm going to place it back into my wood frame and close the tabs. And then after that, I'm going to take these alphabet stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut out the letters that I will be using for my greetings. So it's going to say, welcome to our home. We are thankful you are here to share our harvest cheer. And the galvanized words, I, you'll see those in just a second, but I'm going to be using these stickers for the portions that are not galvanized to spell it out. Then you get these galvanized words, I'm placing them at an angle going down and uh, when you turn them over to glue them, I'm putting dots of hot glue on the thickest portions of the letters. I'm just kind of eyeballing where the thicker parts are. I'm not putting hot glue on the entire back because part of the letters do come up a little bit higher than the others. So just dots on certain portions will do just fine. And I'm going to do that to all of my letters. And I'm going to display this uh, for you guys stacked up. So with the, the words coming at an angle, it's just nice to kind of have that, that look to it. And now I'm going to remove the sticky parts of my letters and start placing those now that I know where the galvanized words are going. Next I'm going to take some matte Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree and a paintbrush. And I'm going to do a thin layer on each letter. I'm not going to saturate it because it is fabric. I'm just doing a thin layer to make sure my stickers stay in place. And of course these galvanized words from the Dollar Tree, you can mix them up for any project. I really like the idea of making one larger project using all three of them. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And so I'm just going to finish Mod Podging all of my letters. Next I'm going to take my foam pumpkins and remove the stems. Those pumpkins are from Target Dollar Spot and Walmart, I believe. And then I'm going to be using these small wooden paper, or not paper clips, uh, clothespins from the Dollar General. And I'm going to squish them right into where I put the stems. And I'm basically making the indent of where I'm going to be putting the stems. And then I'm going to cut them in half. Very easy to cut in half. They're just foam. Here you can see the indents. Then I'm going to take some burlap leaves. These were from Walmart, I believe. And since they were too big, I'm just using the top portions. And I'm going to cut all six of them to go all the way around and then glue those down once I have them in place. Then I'm going to figure out my pumpkin placement. I did green, white, and cream. I'm going to put hot glue on the indent that I made. Stick the half closed pin right inside. Put more hot glue around the pumpkin and since I did that indent for the stem it's going to lay nice and flat. And then I'm just going to glue my stems into my pumpkins all the way around. And like I said this sign you can either display all together standing up or you can even take them apart and display them individually. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'd love for you to join. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!